So in this particular question, if if word is very important for us, if and there is a proof that and after that there is a comma. Okay, prove that if the diagonal of a quadrilateral bisect each other. Can you see there is a comma? This information is given. Then it is a parallelogram. That means I need to prove that it is a parallelogram. Given and to prove. So let me just draw any random. Since we are going to make it a parallelogram, so I'm just taking it as a parallelogram. A, B, C, D, and this point is O. If diagonals of a parallelogram, diagonals, that means two diagonals. Diagonals of a parallelogram, uh, sorry, quadrilateral, bisect each other. Bisect each other means this is equal to this, and this is equal to this. AO equals to OC, and BO equals to OD. Prove that ABCD is a parallelogram. Is this thing clear? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So try to think what is a parallelogram? If you know the properties of a parallelogram, opposite. So one thing I'm going to teach you, which is very important, opposite sides are equal. Either you prove this thing or opposite sides are parallel. Either you prove this thing. What I'm trying to say, either you prove this side equal to this, this side equal to this, either you prove that this is parallel to this and this is parallel to this, or you prove one pair of opposite sides are parallel, remember, and, and equal. In the last class, when I showed you the video, in that video, there must be this explanation. Yes, Either sir. this side is equal and this side is parallel. Either prove this thing. Out of these three things, anyone is, if you are able to prove, then it is it will become a parallelogram. Or opposite angles are equal. If opposite angles are equal, then also it is a parallelogram. Yes or no? So there are many ways of proving that it is a parallelogram. You choose which one is possible. Only thing you are allowed to do is to use the given thing and congruency. Okay. So take two minutes, try to apply your understanding and then we will discuss. Tell me how you have done. Yes, sir. Sir, if we take um, DB as a transversal. DB as a transversal. Okay. Let me stop sir, you over so here. The alternate interior wait, angles wait, wait. Are what is this figure? What is this figure? Is it a parallelogram? No. It is a quadrilateral right now. In a quadrilateral, are there any parallel lines? Tell me. Yes, no. Yes, sir. In a quadrilateral, this is a quadrilateral. Yes. Is there any parallel line? I don't think so. So 
there were no parallel lines. If there were parallel lines, then why we are proving them it is a parallel line? Anything else you want to share? Yeah, tell me how we can do this. Sir, so by proving the concurrency of triangle AOB and DOC. Okay, these two triangles you are taking. Yeah. So, so, but, but, yeah. so, but to prove the concurrency of, uh, concre sorry, sir, but to prove that AD is equal to BC, uh, we'll have to prove the concurrency of AOD and BOC. Yes, yes. In triangle AOB and DOC, first thing which is given is AO equals to OC. And second thing is, OB equals to OD given. What is the third thing which is given? So, so vertically opposite angles. Very good. So I can number them angle one and two. Angle one equals to angle two, vertically opposite angles. Therefore, Triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD by side angle, side congruency criteria. Therefore, AB equals to CD, CPCT. Similarly, No need to prove uh, other triangle. AOD is congruent to triangle COP. These two triangles are also congruent. Hence, AD is equal to BC as that understanding is very important because parallelogram is a basic quadrilateral which will help you in proving all the quadrilaterals as opposite sides are equal therefore ABCD is a parallel any doubt Yes, no. No, sir. In question number two, question is if diagonals of a parallelogram are equal. So this whole information is given. Okay. They are saying if diagonal of a parallelogram are equal. So let me just draw a parallelogram. A, B, C, D. So they are saying diagonals are equal. A, C equals to B, D. Another major information is that this is a parallelogram. A, B, C, D is a In a parallelogram, whatever the properties are, opposite sides are equal, diagonal bisect each other. Okay. Uh, opposite angles are equal. All these properties are will, will be coming in given part. Is this thing clear? to prove that it is a rectangle. A, B, C, D is a rectangle. 
Now, if you remember that flow chart, what is the difference between parallelogram and rectangle? What is the difference? Quickly tell me. <coughs> so in rectangle, all the angles are 90 degree. Very good. So if I prove this thing, will I be able to prove that it is a rectangle? Yes or no? Yes, sir. So that should be my focus area. That should be my focus area that I need to prove that all angles are 90 degree. Is this thing clear? That's the hidden information. Instead of pro proving that it is a rectangle, we will prove that it is a angles are 90 degree. Now, if I talk about angles 90, that means I'm taking this full angle. That means, I am taking this full triangle. Is this thing clear? Okay. So, what I will try to do, I'll try to do the congruency of these two triangles, this full triangle. Is this thing clear? Yes. Yes, sir. You understand why I'm taking these two triangles? Because after congruency, these two angles will be equal. You have to assume this thing. These two angles will be equal. Then obviously these two sides are parallel. Hence, co angle property, I will be able to prove that they are 90. So you know the path. So we will do it right now. Okay. So proof. In triangle A, D, C and triangle B, C, D. Can you tell me what is the first thing which is equal? What is the first thing which is equal in these two triangles quickly? So AC and BD. AC and BD are equal, which is given over here. Very good. AC equals to BD. Given. What is the next thing? AD and BC are also equal. Can you tell me why? Can you tell me why? Because ABCD is a parallelogram. Opposite sides are equal in a parallelogram. Is this thing clear? So yes, sir. Two sides are equal. What is the third thing? Sir, DC, DC common. Very good. DC equals to DC common. So we have three things. Therefore, triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BCD by SSS. Okay. So therefore, angle ADC is equal to angle BCD. ADC is equal to angle BCD by CPCT. Okay. Now, 
as sorry as ad is parallel to bc so these two lines are parallel and this line becomes our transversal yes or no and dc is the transversal therefore angle adc plus angle bcd equals to 180 degree co interior angle property and as we know this two are equal therefore two angle adc equals to 180 degree from one therefore angle adc equals to 90 similarly all angles are 90 angle a equals to angle b equals to angle c equals to angle d equals to 90 hence a b c d is a rectangle Any doubt in this? Yes, sir. Yeah, ask. So, 